Gabriel Christopher Swift. I know that our love spans over many lifetimes and that this is not the first time we have loved each other. Chantel Isabel Adams. Since before our first date, I knew I would call you the one. From the moment we met, I felt we had a deep soul connection. I fell in love with you quickly and remember feeling such a sense of peace knowing that we would be together in this lifetime. I'm so happy that the universe brought us together. If someone would have told me that my brother would be marrying one of my best friends, I would have never believed them. I remember the very first time I met you, Chantel. It was my first day of university and my very first class. I tell everyone that I knew that I wanted to be your friend right away, and so I canceled my other classes and made it so my schedule is the same as yours. <laughs> my spirit guides told me on that very first day that you would be in my life for a very significant reason. Fast forward a year into our friendship, my brother Gabe developed a massive crush on that one over there, obsessing over how she was the goddess how her skin glowed. She walked on the moon. He was obsessed. So as we all know, or you should know, I set them up. So we're all here because of me. But the truth is, I did nothing of the sort. They are soulmates, and they were always going to end up together. After I had admitted to myself that I liked you, and before you ever asked me out on a date, I remember thinking to myself, he is the last person I will ever date. I knew you were the one. The one that I would spend the rest of my life with. The one that I would start a family with. And the one I knew my soul already felt safe with. And like I said, this was all before our first date. <laughs> <laughs> when I went home, I spun around in my living room, so filled with joy that I couldn't contain it. After our first date, I couldn't stop thinking about you. You had consumed every part of my mind. I remember being caught washing the same dish at my job for 10 minutes, completely blanked out, thinking about our first date. I didn't feel like we were just getting to know each other, but instead that we were finally reunited and that we were catching up on the many years we had spent apart. I knew that I found you. You're a little wet. <laughs> <laughs> I know, my hair is soaking wet. <laughs> How do you feel? Excited. Yeah, me too. I was like, I don't feel nervous. I actually feel very, like, mm -hmm. present. And calm, except for right now that I was found. Gabriel, you are the most loving and supportive person that I could have ever hoped to spend my life with. You always know when something's wrong and are always there when I need a shoulder to cry on or a perfectly timed joke. You are a genuine, loyal and trustworthy partner who loves deeply. You care so much for everyone around you and you always put others first. We have done so much together from running a business 
making documentary films, living on a sailboat, and supporting each other along our spiritual path. And I cannot wait to call you my wife. I love your childlike wonder and faithfulness and how you're able to bring that out in others, myself included. I promise to laugh at your corny jokes, <laughs> even the ones that are only kind of funny. <laughs> I promise to nurture our love and put the work it takes to help our relationship thrive. And lastly, I promise to make sure we're always connected with Amma and so on. We have a big adventure ahead of us called life, and I'm so excited to do it with you. So Gabriel, I promise to never forget how we began and allow that loving feeling to carry us through the end. <laughs>